Good morning guys, welcome to a new vlog. I'm on my way out the door. I'm gonna have a little beauty maintenance day. I have a haircut scheduled in like 20 minutes, so that's where I'm headed off right now. And after that, I'm gonna go get my eyebrows threaded, and then after that, I am gonna go get a pedicure. I am desperately overdue for a haircut. As you can see, my hair has gotten very long, so I need to trim my dead ends off. We need to do that, and then I've been desperately also overdue for an eyebrow appointment. Yeah, it's a gloomy day, but we're gonna still head outside and get all that done. So here's a little before shot of my hair. It is, yeah, very long. And I'm gonna keep it long. I'm gonna just get long layers. Every time I get a haircut, I tell my hairstylist that I want long layers, face framing long layers, and also curtain bangs, but I think I wanna keep my bangs long too. I think I'm gonna just cut them up to like here. And curtain bangs, if you aren't familiar, they're like kind of short bangs that kind of, you know, swoosh out. Um, so I think I want to do that, but keep the bangs long because I like having long bangs. I like to like, I don't know. I just like having long hair. So I'm excited and I'll show you guys the after of my hair. Do you hear that? They do construction next door. They've been doing construction for the past, I don't know, like year and a half, almost two years. And there's this one truck. I don't know if it's a truck, if it's a construction truck or like a pickup truck. But there's one vehicle that comes every single morning and his car has a horn and it's that What is that? Cucaracha, cucaracha. I forgot, but every morning. It's like part of my morning routine to hear that alarm. So anyway, I made myself an iced coffee and have my water with me. We're gonna head out the door. I'm gonna also bring a banana with me because I didn't have time to make breakfast. Um, so I will, oh my gosh, I gotta eat these before these go bad. I'm gonna bring a banana, eat this with me in the car. And I'll check with you guys later. I'll show you the after results of my haircut. Second floor. I'm back home. All my appointments are done, including my hair. I'm so obsessed with how it came out. I'm still trying to get used to the short bangs. I'm not used to having bangs so short, but I love them. Here's a better look. So yeah, I kept it long and I'm hoping that it grows more because it used to be used to be down to here. So honestly, it's not even that much. It's like two inches that got cut off. So it's still long. I got a ton of long layers everywhere. And then I just got curtain bangs. Usually curtain bangs are shorter, but I told her that I wanted to have long curtain bangs so that I can still tuck it behind my ear because I really like to tuck my bangs behind my ear. And then I got my eyebrows threaded, went to go get a pedicure, and we got all my beauty errands done for the day. So now I'm gonna just be back home. I think I'm gonna wax my upper lip because it's been, mm, well actually, maybe I don't. Maybe it's okay for now. Because usually when I get my eyebrows, threaded they're always they always ask even if I don't have an upper lip they're like do you want to get your upper lip threaded too and I always say no because I can do it at home I have a waxing kit that I use for my upper lip um, so usually when I get my eyebrows threaded I do that on the same day but I think it's okay for now I don't like to do it too much um, but I think another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna self tan but yeah I feel very refreshed and brand new now it is the grossest day it's been storming the past three days and it just makes me want to do nothing except crawl on the couch. We got to try to be productive today. I have to put my laundry away. Today is a Tuesday and let me use my Stanley as a tripod. I am forever taking random things like paper towel rolls and my Stanley and using it as a tripod. So yeah, today's Tuesday. It's the Tuesday after Easter. So I took the weekend off and I have a lot of catching up on some work to do and then I have a pretty busy week. It's now April and I have a lot going on this month. I'm getting my taxes done tomorrow. I always do my taxes like last minute because it gives me so much anxiety and it takes me a while to, cause I have to like gather, or not gather. Yeah, I, I have to put together my expenses for the past year and that always stresses me out just like going through. I keep track of my expenses you know, monthly on a month by month basis. But when I see it all put together in the whole year and what I spent, it stresses me out and like just organizing everything. So 
I'm doing that today. I'm gonna probably cook some dinner. I have a couple hauls I want to show you guys and just a lot of like organizing things around the house. I feel like there's always constantly something to do around the house like with cleaning or straightening up and I'm so stern on keeping everything orderly like I hate clutter so much. I try to not let it bother me and you know sometimes it doesn't sometimes I'll let the packages and other things you know stack up at the door but I need to like organize like everything today. We're getting my life together today. So for lunch, I'm having my current fixation meal. I started eating this a couple days ago and I love it because it is super easy to make, tastes really good and it's low calorie. And it's a low calorie pizza, like a flatbread pizza, but I fold it in half so I guess is that a calzone, like a very healthy version of a calzone. So anyway, I use these flatbreads. These are from Target. They are 90 calories each and 7 grams of protein each. And I like to also use these for wraps, but they're really good as a pizza flatbread. They're pretty big and I like to like fold them in half after it's cooked. But for now, I just like keep it open and then I just use a pizza sauce. This is just from Target as well. And then I sprinkle it with reduced fat mozzarella. The mozzarella has eight grams of protein. And then I also top it off with this turkey pepperoni, also from Target. And this also has a good amount of protein, eight grams of protein. So eight, eight is 16, and this one was seven. So about 22 grams of protein. And then this has one gram of protein, so like 23 grams of protein. So a good amount of protein, as I always try to get with every meal. Turn that on, there we go. Yeah, so I'm very fixated on having lots of protein with every meal. I feel like that's really helped with my weight loss journey, which I am still on. I know it's been a while since I've talked about it, but it's been, let's see, I started around end of September, like seriously committing to it. So it's been about three, four, five, six, six months now, because it's April. So I feel like I'm due to give an updated, yeah, just an update on my weight loss journey, how much I weigh now and you know how I've done it, what my goals are. But I did do a video like that back during Vlogmas. I think it was Vlogmas day two or day three. It was one of those. And honestly, I've pretty much been doing the same things I've been doing since then. So if you want to kind of know what I'm doing and have me talk about it a little bit more, you can go watch that Vlogmas video. But um, I think I'll do an updated one soon or just like talk about it in an upcoming vlog. Okay, and I like to measure things out. So for the cheese, one fourth cup is 70 calories. So I'm gonna go get my measuring cup, the exact amount. Just sprinkle it everywhere. Making this reminds me of the pizza Lunchables. I used to eat those all the time as a kid. It was one of my favorites. It was like the little like doughy, like soft, what was that? They're like little breads. And it came with the pizza sauce in the packet and the little pepperonis and the shredded cheese. Those were my favorite, favorite Lunchables as a kid. That one and also the nachos one and also the crackers and ham. Okay, this one, about 15 slices. So I like to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, I can only fit 12. And then I like to sprinkle a little bit of Italian seasoning and garlic powder. And then I just pop it into the oven and I cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes on 350 degrees. So here's my little flatbread pizza. Mm, it smells just like a normal pizza. So I'm gonna flip it over. So it's like a little a little sandwich, a little, a little calzone. And then I also like to just slice it in half. some grapes on the side. I feel like this is such a little kid's lunch. I don't care, because it's delicious.
Mm. Very good. Every time I eat a meal, I'm literally a kid right now. I'm eating my little kid meal and I'm checking out my Sims, aka playing on my iPad. I'll forever be a kid at heart. Okay, I recently placed an order on Fashion Nova. It's been a while since I've shopped on there and I forgot how much I love their jeans and I've been needing new jeans and honestly new pants in general because I don't really have that many and also a lot of them don't fit me anymore. So I wanted to get some that are my right size and styles that I actually like and that are actually flattering because Fashion Nova has always had really flattering jeans, especially for like curvy girls. So I got quite a few pairs of jeans. The jeans I'm actually wearing today are also from Fashion Nova and I love them. So I'm gonna try these all on. I haven't tried these yet and I'll show you guys everything I got. So yeah, these are the jeans I wore today. I really like these because they're high-waisted and they're just like nice and tight all over and they fit they just fit really well. Yeah, I finally have a good pair of like decent jeans that also aren't ripped because a lot of my jeans are ripped and I just realized I need to get jeans that don't have rips in them. I love these next ones because I've been wanting to get a pair of cargo jeans for a really long time and I've actually bought some in the past from a couple different online stores but they ended up being way too tight and just being too baggy and looking weird but these ones fit so good because they have stretch to it. They're high-waisted and it's just stretchy all throughout. It's just very comfortable. I love stretchy jeans. Yeah, I got quite a few different cargo pants in this haul because I've always wanted a pair of like camo pants as well. And I didn't know they were gonna be like this. Like these are like legit like hunting gear pants, but they're kind of cute. I feel like with maybe a different top and some heels, it might be like a cute going out look or a cute casual look. Actually, I don't know how I feel about this because this print is not how I was expecting it to be, but I do like the style and the fit of it. I don't know. Maybe I have to look up some inspo. Sometimes when I need inspo for outfits, I look on Pinterest and then I get like kind of an idea of how I can style something. Yeah, I don't know about these. They fit really good though, but it's just the print that I don't know about. I also got this top. It's just like a plain white um, rib top with this little zip up. And then I also got these jeans. These are a little bit baggier. They're a little bit loose. Um, they're a little bit more baggier than I expected, but the style is cute. They're stretchy and comfy, but I don't know. I think the sizing might be a little bit off, but I did want to also get baggy jeans, not just like fitted jeans. So I think these are okay. I don't know what possessed me to get an Ed Hardy shirt, but here we are. I got an Ed Hardy shirt from Fashion Nova as well. I think it was on sale, that's probably why I got it. And then I also got these black cargos, which I really like. They're not as stretchy as the others, but I like the fit. Because with cargos, sometimes I want them to be a little bit baggy, and I kind of like how it looks and feels, so I'll keep these. I also got this top. I like it. It's casual, but kind of different. It's one-sided, like one shoulder is off. The sleeves are kind of baggy, and then I like the like cut of this just kind of a simple top i think this one was kind of cheap too but i like basic shirts like this like my go-to comfortable casual outfit is like a long sleeve top like a tight one and i like this because it was like that but also somewhat different but the material is really soft last thing i got is this lounge set which i love it's a long sleeve kind of poloed crop top and up close of the material it's kind of like gray gray and black it's ribbed, it kind of feels like it's velvety or suede. And then the pants are bell bottom. The pants are super comfortable. The top feels a little bit tight, but it's still like wearable. They have cute sets on the website. I just felt like picking one up. I love, I love a good loungewear set. Okay, that's everything I picked up from Fashion Nova. I'm gonna probably return a few things, but I'll link everything in my description in case you wanna check anything out. I'm getting ready to do a little workout. I feel like a workout Barbie today in my all pink. I got these leggings a while ago from TJ Maxx. I think I showed them in a, no, I don't think I did. But I got them back during Christmas time because I had a gift card to TJ Maxx. And I always love getting athletic and workout wear from TJ Maxx because they're so affordable and the quality is so good. So I'm not sure what the brand of these are called, but I just love them. I love the color, they're so comfortable. And then I love the design of this band up here. It's kind of like crisscrossed a little bit. So I love it. And then I just got this sports bra to match with it. This is from Nike and I got it from Nordstrom. I can link the sports bra in my description. It's really comfortable and I just love the color. And then I have my little aloe cover up. I've shown this 
a few times before, but I plan on doing Pilates today. I've been doing Pilates a lot more often. Um, I'm doing it about three to four times a week now. And every time I do Pilates, I like to accompany it with a 30 minute cardio after. So I do like a 30 minute Peloton ride after. Sometimes I do 45 minutes, just depending on how I feel. I'm like so lazy and tired today. So I think I'm gonna do a 20 minute Pilates class and then a 30 minute um, Peloton class or biking class. And every time I do my Pilates classes, I take all my classes on the Peloton app. You don't need a bike to download the app. The app costs $40 a month and you have access to thousands of classes. They have Pilates, yoga, hit cardio workouts. They have stretching classes, um, treadmill. You know, if you have a treadmill, they have those kind of classes on there too. Um, and of course they have the cycling classes and you can also choose like what area you're trying to target. So they have like leg workouts, arm workouts but every time we do pilates i like to target my core so yeah we're gonna do that and i always do my pilates workouts right in the living room i just move the living room table to the side and my carpet is super comfortable so i don't even use a yoga mat i just do everything right on the carpet and i play the class on my phone i have the peloton app on my phone and i mirror my phone to my tv so i can watch the class up there on my tv and it's just a really great easy way to work out. And if you don't have or you don't want to pay for the Peloton app, there's a ton of classes on YouTube. Um, I think there's this girl, Move With Nicole. I think she's pretty big with Pilates classes. But yeah, there's a bunch of classes you can look up for free online. I just got this 50 ounce tumbler from Simple Modern. And I love this so much better than the like Stanley style of tumblers because it's bigger and also it's it's more sturdier. I feel like with the Stanleys they always like fall over because the bottom is a lot skinnier, but I love it. It's bigger than my head. And it matches my outfit. I got some new workout gear from Nike. I got a pair of sneakers and then also aloe. So I was on the hunt for a good pair of black running shoes because I have white running shoes. I actually have a lot of white running shoes, but I just wanted black. Um, and then I saw these on Nordstrom. I was just browsing on the website and I saw these and I just love the style. They're the free Metcon 5s. They're so cute, they're so lightweight and very comfortable. So I love them. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna wear these for when I go walking and running to the gym. Just good like everyday sneakers. And then from Aloe, I picked up this hat. I always look at the accessory section when I'm shopping on Aloe and this hat just looks really cute. It's the trucker hat, and I don't know. I just thought it'd be cute for like spring or summer, like when I'm having bad hair days. I don't wear hats often, but I really feel like I should because there's so many times when my hair looks like a hot mess and I just need to like throw a hat over it. So I got that, and then, oh, it came with some free gifts with purchase. This is a magnesium reset spray. I think this is for, yeah, this is for your body. It helps to like relax your muscles. I used to have the bigger version of this a while back. And then there's also this advanced collagen shot. They have like the wellness little packets. And then it also came, I think these are new products, the mul superfood multivitamin. Just a sample of that. And then the main things I got, I only got two like clothing things. I got a pair of leggings and then a sports bra to match. This is the sports bra I got, it's like, crisscrossed in the back and I love how the back looks. It's the high waist airlift legging. I have these in black and they're really comfortable. I like to wear them when I work out. Yeah, I love it. I thought the hat would look cute with this too. Anto's back from Canada. I'm back vlog. And he brought, oh my gosh, so many goodies. Look at all of these chocolates. He brought Canadian Kit Kats, which are way better than American Wait, ones. These are way better. Way than better. 
And then what? what's all this? This like, is Choco Prince. But yeah, these are fire. I what's this? What this oh is. my God, that looks looks good. This Lion Bar, this mm. is crazy. Nestle makes this, but I don't think these are in America. And it's the brownie edition. They oh don't gosh. make that like that. Yum. Okay, and then these chips. Me and Anto have an obsession with these chips. They're not going to know. These? No, yeah. So I grew up in Syria, and these were like... These were like the chips we grew up on, mm -hmm. and uh, a bag is like 50 cents. Do they like, sell them here? No, right? Yeah, let me open it so you can see what it looks like. I call them the, the pasta chips because they're shaped as little, yeah, like... Yeah, it's like little pasta. Little pasta. it's like, it's so good. It tastes so These good. These are the best chips. Love and the cool those. thing is, like, you know, you open it and you could crush it. Like, like it's not like a huge serving. Yeah. So it's like, if you are if you want like a quick it's snack... It's like low calorie. That's what I'm so saying. So it's like not terrible, Even but yeah. I that, but, um... Mm, thank it, you. This is oh. bread with chocolate in it. It's so good. And this is like a Mediterranean. Like mm. it's not tuna fat, but it's like very similar. Mm -hmm. um, you got that in Canada, right? Yeah, it's from straight from Canada. Canada. Mm. What I realized is. Wait, what part of Canada did you go to? So I went to Quebec. Quebec, Mont Montreal. It's Montreal. Yeah. It's Montreal. Yeah. That's honestly the only part of Canada I've been to. I want to go to Toronto. Everyone always tells me to go to Toronto. Yeah, I want to go there too. Uh, but something Vancouver. I noticed about Canada, like I don't know, I I do love living in Maryland more obviously but i noticed like the food and snacks there is way better than ours maybe not way better but the fried chicken know. is better right and you tell me my opinion you know everyone has different opinions yeah the food there bro i was crushing fried chicken the first night <laughs> we ate so much like uh shawarmas it was mm, wild, bro. okay i'm yeah, gonna I eat some goodies i couldn't bring you back as much as many things that I no could this is a lot we had a full car we drove up there bro oh my gosh we didn't take a flight 10 we hours drove there um, it was a 10 hour, uh, 10 hour drive, Ooh. but it was crazy. Oh boy, I'll, you must I'm be tired. tired. But, um, okay, I'm gonna, uh, you know, I'm gonna have a little snack. You should try one for the vlog. I know I should. Try, you, know, you gotta try this, come on, you gotta show it out. But yeah. I've had this before, I wanna try something new. You had that for the vlog? Not for the vlog. I have it for the vlog, come okay, on, I'll take come a, on, Steph. I'll take a couple chips and then I'm gonna eat Yeah, have it for the vlog, show them what it looks like first. They look like little penne pastas. Mm. Mm. Nah, they're fire. I've had them forever. What, what is this pasta called? The um, the the, the squiggly one? Oh no. But guys, it's not pasta. Steph keeps saying pasta. I'm just saying it's shaped like pasta. Yeah. It's not pasta. Yeah. It tastes like. It tastes it? like kind of like basilly, don't you think? Like a little, like a hint of basil. And potato, it. potato and basil. Yeah, it kind of tastes like a potato chip, but like seasoned with like. I'm trying to think like barbecue, not barbecue, like kind of sweet and like. I'm trying to show you guys all the angles. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying. I love it. Okay, I want to try chocolate. Um, try, try these, yeah. I know this is intriguing me. It looks like a hockey puck. D no, that, <laughs> no, that is supposed to oh be like really good. Ooh, is it like a wafer? Mm. Let them have the first bite. Let them have the Here first bite. Here you go, bite. guys. Enjoy. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's like a little wafer inside. Ooh, mm. ooh, ooh. I love wafers. How is it? So good. Mmm. This is dangerous. I'll eat all these. I'm gonna eat all these. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little face mask to end my night. I just picked up these face masks. They're sheet masks from Marshalls, and it's a hyaluronic and collagen anti aging face masks. It helps to moisturize rejuvenate and reduces wrinkles. I'm very into everything anti-aging. Retinol, anything that says anti-aging on it, I'ma grab it and put it on my face. So it comes with five different sheet masks and I just feel like my skin has been kind of dull lately. So I like to do this every now and then to just kind of brighten up my face and make it hydrated so we'll keep this on for a few minutes and then I'll do my normal skincare routine and yeah so I went to Marshall's a couple days ago um because I I'm doing these TikToks of these people getting these $50 La Creuset boxes I think you can only get them at like the warehouse or something like that but anyway I was reading the comments because I was like oh my gosh how do I get this box I want to order a mystery box um, but people in the comments are saying that they're seeing a lot of La Creuset um, pots and different cooking ware at Marshalls. Um, so I went to my Marshalls to see if they had any. Of course they didn't. I thought it was too good to be true. 
So I didn't find anything there, but I did pick up like a couple of random things. I picked up these masks. I picked up some like food and kitchen things. Nothing like exciting, but anyway. Okay guys, so got my mask on and I'm gonna end my night here with this skincare. It's so hard to talk with this on. But I'm gonna end the vlog here and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Everything that I talked about will be linked in my description. I hope you guys all have a great night, a great day, whatever time of day it is. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.